Kwesi Amache Boateng, a senior political science lecturer at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Uh, Doc, eko si sen yusu ni akwa ba na apo mu yede? Ah, radio do me huye. Asa mete un kan cheka kra. Ah, radio do me ho. Yeah. Uh, me nimse wo follow the the political situation in our country and especially in the NPP. Enra Alan Trematen we draw our no uh, I'm much we surprised to you and now say you are one of those I am one say we withdraw from the race. Uh my she said of the withdraw. But eventually I'll withdraw and no one can say no yeah, mama. No, 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 me if you shan't if you any moves or bell withdraw. But I don't know. I can't be so also want to say be also the bini muka. There was a strong argument, sir, or a grassroots person. And given the size of the electorate now, and as a electoral college, I bet to about come November 4th, you know. Now, I just say, I'll stand this strong. The GDC, you know, did not amount to anything. I saw it differently. In fact, maybe the GDC, you know, say, a catastrophic. And very unbecoming of Alan, uh, 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 and represented what he stands for in in in, in the party. And, you know that terrible performance to me uh, was a failure, and I thought that with that, Alan Che Martin's active political career, his desire to become the president of Ghana, had come to an end. Me, it was like that. Mm. But then, man, for be so able to an equally strong argument, you have to listen to what other people too have to say. In the immediate, me and Casa, me reaction. Tina nya dia me she say or be resign. No. Hmm. Yeah, but but I think the the argument you also put forth, sir. Alan's standing in the NPP, you know, the the result from the super delegate conference, you no, know, and Shada. Uh, in befitting the standing in the party, and he, you thought it was it was it was it was a terrible performance on his part. Uh, on also having considered other issues, no things. Uh, it's time to probably bow out from this contest, uh, or cited the issues of intimidation of his supporters and and all of that. I've heard I've heard analysts say, say uh, this this is more like. Similar to what happened in 2008, uh, uh, in that case, they all resign from the party, and they, you know, or any resignation, uh, just a withdrawal from this contest. Do you think, sir, uh, maybe Alan Tremartian Bill Day, that that mental fortitude to withstand some of these things that are happening in politics now? In the first place, I don't agree with analysts or Mujiri uh, reflecting what happened in 2008. In 2008, the elections came to an end. Or consider the anointing, and according to him, treatment that many supporters in Yano now unacceptable to him. And you know, oh, okay, sir, and need a CAE part. No, in 2008, one, one, for two, the electoral process, he did not come up with any case against the organizers of the election, the party's election committee. The, the two issues to me are poles apart. Similarity, no, and it's a Ipacrono and party, no, in the way be. You say straight away, on Castle of Fee Party, in 2008, it was straight. Yeah. So, Fee Party, no. Yeah. They say, I'm making a strong case about how the election has been managed. He's making a very, very strong case with hardcore evidence. In the Okase, in 2008, you know, I will not uh, agree with you. And so the question of on building mental fortitude, no, to me, doesn't come in at all. You see, elections are not necessarily democratic until they are democratic. And undemocratic elections should not be allowed, you know, to, 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 to go on. Ghana has been, has been a democracy for over 30 years. 
And Ghana has been operating with two major political parties. If at this time they are not able to demonstrate that their internal democracy you know, is even stronger than that of the national, then everybody should be concerned. Because that process is he, he produces somebody who potentially could become the president of Ghana. So the action of Alan Chamati is a desire not only to warm everybody in the party, but also the whole country. If there's anything, ah, it threw parties, nations into confusion, into uh, civil strife, uh, elections. Uh, elections. The, to me, the action is uh, warranted. Uh, warranted. It mm. has nothing to do with mental fortitude. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. We don't have to accept bad elections and just keep going simply because the results have come out. And then, uh, I mean, the winners are known. The losers are left to lick their wounds. No. That is my position on this the, issue. The, the, party, the party in their response to Honorable Alan's uh, statement, Enrano, makes the point, sir, uh, it is worthy to note that both the Elections Committee and the Di Disciplinary Committee have initiated comprehensive investigations into all reported incidents of violations and infractions that are alleged to have occurred at various voting centers during the superdelegate election, which was held on Saturday, August 26, 2023. NRC, we wish to reassure all stakeholders and the general public that the report of the aforementioned committees will be made readily available and persons who may be found culpable of any wrongdoing will be held accountable. That that should be uh, reassuring. But really, no, uh, Doc, so what should elections next course on 26th now? From where you sit and from report our monitor any other no do you think sir it qualifies to be an election Ubeka say it was it was mad absolutely by violence and underhand dealings can you really characterize that election no with with these with these uh, adjectives me one violence no you can't because we, we had isolated cases now we share, uh, democratic elections the number of people are here involved now uh, in almost all cases, some of these things are to be expected. Two, the element of fairness, and to me that is critical, had issues with the uh, elections in Ayakosumo. And my beef, uh, the way I almost echo Abano in different centers, given the numbers involved, it made it possible for coercion, however subtle it was, to be applied. Me justification and say the cases of individuals who felt compelled to take pictures, cameras using their phones to take pictures of how they voted, one and two, coming out to display. See, these people were under uh, some sort of duress, under some sort of pressure. These people felt coerced to do that. They felt coerced to do that. It means that given the numbers at different centers, if it is 200, if it is 300, it was possible for the influencers to zero in and take individuals on. So, we don't trust that you voted for candidate A. We don't believe that, we, and, and we had engaged you and possibly entered into some understanding that you should vote in this direction. People feared these things will happen to them. It, could see, say, on it affected the secrecy nice. element of nice. uh, democratic elections, a cherish that people's votes are secret. It affected it. It became a major element that influenced the way people voted. It was subtle, but to the, as far as I'm concerned, it is clear. As far as I'm concerned, it is clear. My evidence, uh, the reason why people are, I mean, the elections in the first place, are uh, elite elections. A uh, few influential individuals in the party, Nomukotuye, mm -hmm. 
How should these people feel compelled to demonstrate, to let people know that Amache, I voted in this way, I voted in that way, I voted for candidate A, I voted for candidate B. Unless, say, me feel some sort of pressure behind me. And to me, it takes a, so much out of the democratic credentials of the election. A worse than violence physical violence. Mm. Uh, do you think, and uh, you say, uh, you consider say, that performance was abysmal. Uh, is it your conclusion, say, these things might have accounted for the abysmal performance? As no one in your, the strategy be wrong. A lot of factors might have contributed to that. A lot of fact factors. And to me, the strongest of them all, oh, yeah, the one that uh, runs around uh, a, a, a small issue. Two individuals, one is carrying charcoal, the other is carrying raw meat. And then you expect all of them to attract flies to themselves. It happens that the one carrying charcoal doesn't attract any fly. But the one carrying raw meat attract flies. To me, this played itself out. And to me, I know I can home and I'm along the performance, you know, ASANO. It was ably supported by the coercive element of the environment, the creative by so muko to abano or baby baby no. These were subtle, but they are obvious to people who have eyes to see them. Mm. And to me, they played out so strongly, so significantly. And don't forget, there are no jobs in Ghana. And many of the people who went to vote, I expect, are all working in government. And they want to keep their jobs. They want to keep their positions. They want to enjoy the largest uh, ever They want to do that. Look, you can't win in Abu you want to know why Alan performed so terribly. It was strategized long ago. As I say in Kumasi, one term I want to me, of course, second term I want to say, Obel Lusu was made to go on the post through direct Nanado's intervention. This thing happened here in Kumasi. I have reasons to come to this conclusion. And the last time round, before Omoya went, the way the album Omoya to Abano had been put together, now all the opponents were out. In elections, the rules should not enable people to win ahead of time. It defeated the paradox of electoral governance. Ah, so we achieve an and the outcomes, you know, ahead of the elections. We are able to predict the outcomes ahead of the elections. It means we me and provide guarantees for what we call electoral uh, certainties. We me and provide this uh, guarantee. You know. the, uh, a lot of things have happened. In okay. the region, we know members of parliament who have lost their seat over the years. And you could see that there was a plan being implemented. And so virtually, I Alan has been everyone. out for a long time. I don't know whether he himself has been aware. Because I've not seen much of him by way of either his support trying to counter uh, drive me over the years. And I've been wondering why he still thinks that he's nurturing a presidential ambition in the NPP. He has not, he has not really come out. Politics is politics. And, 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 and one political scientist, Robert Da, or one general definition for politics I like to use, the exercise of influence. So if I want to become the presidential candidate of my party, not make me more foresight, then definitely I'll take the lead and do what I have to do. To get what I want. What did Alan do? I didn't see it. 
Over here, I'm not blaming anybody, but these things have taken place. Mm. These things have taken place, and they have affected Alan's fortunes. M meaning, so, sir, nothing would have changed, really, even if you was to be part for the November 4th primaries, right? Obey Okay, November 4th, maybe I'm going to be Hey, we are sure. I told you, sir, I listen to people who uh, are you strongly. So, you're a grassroots person. Yeah. Do you know me? So, I'm not How strong that ties now? What will be at the grassroots? You know? How strong will it be? 94.7. And, and, and fortunately or unfortunately, so Konoa was so much faith in that strength, our grassroots now. Given the fact that yesterday, all show interest in politics in Ghana no, through his own words no. then he didn't have to come out. Then he didn't have to come out. Why is that so? Because the moment he leaves the MPP, he is going to fade into insignificance. Whether he likes it or not. Small parties have not survived in Ghana. It, from the, the time of the struggle for independence to date, small parties have not failed well. On a simple FM, but you know, as an independent candidate, even Ashanti region will not vote for him. Oh. Why are you saying oh? If anything, what about Tom Abamano in the Special delegation in Asante region, another one you're saying. Um, we are 10. Out of how many people? Out of one, two, eight votes, I think. It was a terrible mess. A similar thing will happen, which now as an independent candidate. Asante region for say they support the NPP. Ukofa Ukan Kraba, Mata Dianis and now Mbetuam Abamano. Alan shouldn't forget about that. Mm. It is uh, or, or war ambitions be to want to go independent, and uh, he should discard it immediately. He should. He should. He's not going to cause anything, any magic in this country. Mrs. Small parties have not fared well from the time of independence to date. He is not going to change it. Wow. Wow. Inti, uh, how then does it? leave Nipa for Aka uh, to battle it out on the 4th of November. Uh, why does he see our, our upper hand in that race? I think it's a, a, a one-horse race. A straight win for Dr. Baumia. I'll be surprised if people in the MPP vote for Kennedy Japan. Kennedy Japan socially, traditionally, intellectually, on your presidential material. And this must show, Ghanaians must demonstrate that we care about people who become our presidents. In the first place, poor countries, when you go into the literature of development, especially those that border on the development of poor countries, there's one key argument about leadership. And there's, there's a short statement, that leadership matters. And that political leaders in such countries should be knowledgeable, at least in economics. It should be knowledgeable generally and in economics. We named the last school at Canada Japan Okoye. We named the Okusina. Okoye Fordham, Fordham College, or New York. I mean, a friend is saying, as a, 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 a student, a distance study program, Okoye full time. Uh, that I don't have that information. I just have to find it out. I don't know, honestly. There's one thing having a certificate. And there's another thing, you know, through your actions and inactions, demonstrating that some values, new values be, have been you know, place in, in, in you. That's one thing. Why do you take the social traditional issues? So with me, I conduct you in public the way you do, even in the last elections, the pronouncements, and you're very unbecoming of, 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 of a, a potential president. 
very, very unbecoming of a potential president. You can engage a lady, a woman, who might have hurt you in whatever way, openly in public, and use certain words. Ah! Words are traditionally, you do be caught or him a fear, I could go charge. What I don't know who's over the over the dear dear. Why are you? And on the basis of this, the, the party faithful should not vote for him. And nobody should tell us that uh, he's going to be able to influence with money. The establishment should be stronger financially than him as an individual. I don't expect him to do well. A one horse race. But Doc, you should also have heard, sir, there comes a time in the life of every country uh, you'd one day have an anti-establishment person pop up to somehow lead the country. And the example of Donald Trump comes in handy. And uh, Abiyaka said, maybe, just maybe in Ghana, no, if you want somebody with those traitor, you are looking at Kennedy in Japan. And number two, uh, I mean, Omo Aikra, the 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 Cambridge degrees, the Oxford degrees, and all those big big degrees, you know, a leading country either, and this is the result we see. Uh, isn't it time, say, you've been you been so or not? They, you know, say you can't work on that. No, if you're not sure, ever be boom, I am a yashe. You can't be not sure. Are you telling me that you beat me as it were to know what? Sir, Papa, yeah, you can't say me more. They can't social issues. In the traditional issues in Yano, a Kenyans are no Enkahuana. And a system, sir, a Makwama outsiders, a Bermuda Ghana. There are mediators in the system. And we are all influencing people. When they listen to us, they will think twice before going to vote. There are hmm. social mediators in the system. And Makwama. Some such action now, all can of NC. The Donald Trump case is very, very special. It borders on racism in the United States of America. He speaks the language of the racist, white supremacist. And that is what they want to do. That is what they want to hear. That is why in the United States, it was a coup d'etat. What happened in the United States on the 6th of January, I think 2021 or so? It was an attempted coup d'etat. Ghana, any uh, challenge, uh, had a border strongly on ethnicity, and so uh, people will support a particular person in a blind fashion and see. It will not happen. Mm. But, but the other thing about uh, school being here, you know, I mean, I uh, you, you've not answered my first question about uh, or more you create the big degrees, you know. They've let, left our country in this in this state. In the, why do you think that we should still hold on to an Awako school or an Awako school or him when people have proven in their personal lives say uh, they've built businesses, employed people, and probably that's what we need. In this day and age, for for your country, Yanko her Yanko her ni taxes are what you are. Ghana Revenue Authority for my answer ni ajatu say he's doing this, he's doing that, and then the so-called money comes out of those businesses. Yeah, you share ni taxes are what you are. No, but but I think so if we can if say into some of these, eh, uh, but doc say on three are taxa and ka by now uh, the the institutions where the power to do. Something about it, Uncle Maya, Dada. And as I'm about that, that. you're assuming that our institutions work to perfection in this country. You are making that assumption. I don't agree with that. I don't agree. GRA people, what you say, you are going after uh, any rich man or uh, all tax issues in this country. That what you say, achieve a moment you will be out of court simply because uh, the taxes are so piano, what you be that, maybe in be that. I'm, I'm, I'm on post retirement contract at KNUSD. So I have some ages on my side. I'm in TBDA. I'm in TBDA. Yeah, but the point is that I'm in uh, TBDA. As far as Ken is concerned, the presumption of regularity would work in his favor until so be the counter evidence. Be able to say, 
untriai. Once a GRA emeka she no, that presumption of regularity no would work in the favor of. There is this proposition coming from me that his wealth might not even have come from the so-called uh, personal uh, industries and businesses built. That proposition in Amade Chuho. So we, we, you, you and I, nobody should make any assumption going forward. That, that we are a matter, those assumptions, no? That's a matter we, we can interrogate. That's a matter we can interrogate later. But uh, back to Yenkomo and Yedi, you know. And you think, sir, uh, November 4th, uh, uh, a straight win for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia? And the people of Ashanti region where you are, uh, on the basis, sir, uh, Omudomu MPP, you know, will still go all out for Dr. Baumia, right? Maybe. A B and to obviously Alan was going to get some votes in Ashanti region. A B and to Aba. A B and to. November 24th, a B and to. Omo Manegi Nyeme Ya, 2024 December, a B and to. That would definitely happen. A B. A B is so on. I would say the party is doing very significant damage control. Oh, friend, I mean, I now can't be here. Oh, I touch it. Oh, I'm here. Yeah. 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 And Sakata now much more and it's a wise, well-written document. So the party is seriously on the ground already and engaged in damage control exercise. And they will stop. They will stop. This one, I'm here television. There's this uh, member of parliament. I think it's uh, old Tafo. I think he's in region. He was recalling something. Was it Dr. Baumia approached him personally, came to his house, and engaged him, asked him to vote for him. That is humility. We are hiding, said they. Now, BB says you will react positively to it. They are not sleeping. Dr. Baumia's agents working for him. They are on the ground. Mikachira will say, Omo Shas, yeah, Okumasi, da, da, da. So, definitely. It's not just uh, 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 against work and as it will be uh, all evil things to chance. He's on the ground seriously working. To several factors. Look, one principle of organization who you can't say any hey, survivor. The survivor. Individuals now we are members of the MPP you now. Um survivor who here um, they want to stay in the party than to follow someone who has gone out of the party. Mm -hmm. Yes, they want to stay in the party. First and foremost, only are members of the party before aligning themselves to any other person. And all these things are going to play out. It is a one-horse race. Dr. Baumia is winning. Okay. Ma, my answer, maybe after November 4th, we'll talk again and then uh, if Nioma Hapen said yeah, we, can, yeah, we can now do the the comparison between Dr. Baumea and John Dramani Mahama going into 2024. You probably after November 4th. Why? That's okay. Me da se pa doc. Me da se. E ko si se insini e haye asempa 94.7 FM. Dr. Kwesi Amache Boateng, senior political science lecturer at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology.